Hey, what's up, guys? So here I am in my car with my baby, my baby girl, Lulu. Everybody say what's up to Lulu. Say what's up, baby girl. She's riding with me today. Just doing a few errands here. I'm running some errands. But uh, uh, while I was driving, I was listening to um, 1 Corinthians, right? And started at chapter 1 and then 2. And then I just started... Uh, listening so to so much emphasis um spoken uh by paul uh by the holy spirit through him uh about the spirit of god right and it was talking about um that nobody knows the thoughts the mind of god except the spirit of god and then it says that that's the spirit that we have received that believers have received and then it continues to emphasize the fact that the spirit knows the things of God, the mind of God, and he's in us and he actually is in us to help us understand the things of God. Right. And it's it's so crazy because a lot of a lot of us um, allow thoughts like, well, who am I? I'm just a human. I can't figure God out. I don't know what God's doing. I don't know what God's will is. You know, only God knows that. God works in mysterious ways. God knows I don't. God is doing, I'm just here. I won't know anything until I get to heaven. And it's like, haven't we realized that we have his word to read and we have his spirit, the one who inspired the word that was written within us so that we can understand his ways, understand his will, understand the covenant that we are in and understand our purpose as believers here in this world, bring his kingdom, right? Bringing the fragrance of who he is, of his glory, of his presence everywhere we go. And we allow um, those thoughts like, hey, I don't know anything. I will never know anything. How can I even understand God? But it says we have the mind of Christ. How? Because we receive the Holy Spirit. So it says, let this mind of Christ be in you. Like allow the spirit to teach you. Allow the spirit to lead you. Be spirit led. The Bible says continually walk according to the spirit. Be led by the spirits because this is what sons of God do. Right, Lulu? Amen. Right? So, <laughs> You know, we have his spirit and it says that he will help us understand the things that he has freely given us, the things that we have freely received by him. It's so, so important that we understand that he has given us his spirit so that he can help us understand his ways, understand what our purpose is, understand what he wants us to do, what he wants us to say, where he wants us to go. Like we are not alone we are not gps less we are not instruction less we are not wisdom less the spirit of god is in us let this mind of christ be in you allow him to lead you to guide you the bible says in proverbs if we acknowledge him with all of our uh, acknowledge him in, in in all of our ways right and if we trust him in all of our hearts that what he shall direct our paths we need to acknowledge him spend time with him talk with him allow him to guide us allow him to remind us of scriptures of his word so that he can order our steps and lead us to where we need to go to what we need to do to where we need to go right come on a lot of times we're out here w walking like we're still blinded, like we're still in darkness, like we still don't have the wisdom of God. And that's not so. The Bible says we're no longer in the darkness. We've been rescued and we've been placed into the, into the light. We are children of light. We are light in the Lord. Why? Because we've acknowledged, right? And we've received and embraced the light who is him. And now that light is in us. Now we've been born again. The spirit is in us and he is light. That's why Jesus said he is the light of the world. And then later on, he says, we are the light of the world because we've received his spirit. The emphasis is always on us receiving his spirit. So remember, today guys you are not supposed to be ignorant you're not supposed to be uh in you know in darkness blinded you're not supposed to be wisdom less just acknowledge god allow him to teach you allow him to help you read his word allow him to bring his word to your remembrance and live according to his will today okay he will help you understand what the new covenant through christ's blood is all about what he's given to you amen it says that he will help us understand what we have freely received. A lot of people don't understand that we're supposed to be overcoming sin. 
They don't understand that we're supposed to be, you know, uh, walking in, in health, in good health. They don't understand that we're not supposed to be getting, um, you know, messed with by the enemy and by demons and stuff. They don't understand that we're not supposed to be having nightmares and, and living in darkness and in sickness and dying early and all these things. You, you guys understand that, right? But if, if, if you don't allow God to teach you, if you don't realize that you're supposed to know his ways and understand the new covenant, you're not going to expect and anticipate these things and apply these things to your life. We got to walk in what he paid the price for us to have through his blood, through his body. Amen. So I just want to remind you that um, get into uh, get into those verses um, in First uh, Corinthians chapter two and in chapter three and uh, get reminded today. Listen, that we're not supposed to be out here with no GPS, with no instructions, with no map, with no wisdom. The wisdom of God in us because his spirit is in us. Allow him to teach you, to renew your mind, to transform you, and to help you walk in the light and practice out righteousness. Because we are new creations, not because we have new flesh, but because his spirit entered us. And now this body is his temple. Amen. Come on. Amen. Oh, I will never understand the Lord. Listen, I'm not saying we're going to understand every single thing 100% perfectly before we enter the kingdom and receive a glorified body. But we are supposed to know a whole lot. Amen. We are supposed to know a whole lot. If we read his word and we understand all the wisdom that he was giving to Paul and to Peter and to John, uh, even Stephen, even Philip, like, come on, James, like, come on, guys. We have the same spirit they had so that we can understand his ways so that we can please him and so that we can do his will and the things that he's called us, the things that he's called us to do. Amen. Lulu. You, vi you video bombing, baby. You video bombing my video, girl. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that, okay? Remember, you have his spirit. Don't give up. Get into the word. Don't think that you're supposed to know nothing or don't think you're supposed to be ignorant. Listen, the Lord wants you to know. The Lord does not want you to be ignorant. The Bible said that his people perish for the lack of knowledge. The Bible says that transformation comes by the renewing of the mind. The Bible says that the new man is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him. You understand? So get to know. Use your brain. Use your mind today. Get into the word today. A lot of people, they get mad or they get discouraged and sad. And their excuse is always, oh, I don't have enough knowledge. I don't know the word of God like you. I didn't go to Bible college. I didn't go to Bible college, this and that. Uh, it's like, what? <laughs> That's not how you get there. That's not how you understand the Lord and his way. That's not how you understand the new covenant. That's not how you walk in righteousness and walk like Christ and be the light in the world. It's by you listening to the spirit. The spirit's already in you. So, you 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 know, a lot of people have so many excuses to not grow, to not be transformed, to not look like Christ. But he's already in you. So allow him to teach you. Come on, pay attention to the spirit. Come on. A lot of spirit to teach you. The Bible says that he will lead us into all truth. Right? That he will guide us into all truth. He will teach us all things. The Bible says he's the holy anointing in us. Come on, that's who you need, the Holy Spirit. Allow him to father you, to teach you. He is in you already. So allow him to teach you the things of God. It said, who can know the mind of God but the Spirit? And then it says, the Spirit is in you. So get to know God today. Stop ignoring him and stop making excuses for not growing in him because he's already giving you his Spirit. None of us have an excuse to not know, to not learn, to not grow in wisdom and walk in that wisdom. Amen. Love you guys. Take care. Make, you, make sure you share, share this video. At least share it to your story so that others can see it and be reminded that the Spirit is in you and you can learn, you can grow, you can be transformed, you can look like Christ and please God. Love you guys.